warm welcome to the Wafa Park here in Sogakope. It's a big day in Ghana football. It is the coronation day. It's a crowning moment. The West African Football Academy are playing against champions Accra Hatsabok who will be handed the Premier League title this afternoon here in Sogakope. My name is Nana Dakwa Jesse. Together with our stream switch of Feb, we are your commentators for this big game here in Sogakope. Yeah, it's the first sight of Hatsabok since they emerged as the champions of the Ghana Premier League. And they're coming up against this very talented side who have also got ambitions of their own. They can finish as high as third place if results go their way. And of course, in their way today, it's Akira Atafuku. They'll be hoping for Wafa to spoil the party for Atafuku. Are only 90 minutes away from lifting the trophy they've so, so, so well deserved this season. Akira Hatsabok have waited since the 2008-2009 season to just win the silverware. It's been years of heartbreaks for many Hearts fans. This generation of Hearts of players will forever be remembered by the Phobian family. But the question is, will Wafa spoil the party for the Phobians? They've got nothing to lose, but like you rightly said, they've got their eyes on the third spot of the league, which the coach, Prosper Nete, spoke about a while ago. It will be one of their best finishes. I think it's a wonderful gesture from them as well to give the guard of honor to the champions. Hearts of folk. It's a beautiful sight to behold. But the Wafa themselves deserve, deserve some applause from their fans. Daniel Lefrier Barnier, the poster boy of this Hearts of Oak side. Hearts of Oak up against Wafa. So for Wafa, they made just one change to the team that beat Karela by 2 0 last weekend. Augustin Boachi, their star player, is out and his place is taken by Michael Emanuel Foria German. Yeah, 4 3 3, very attacking side. To suggest always going to be a tricky customer for the centre back. So, so, so quick with his movement, but he'll be getting support from Enoke Subontin and Inagreva as well, who'll be adding to the bite up front. Crossman Nateogo must have an incredible season with Wafa. For hard to work, they'll be playing without their top scorer, Kojobin Jr., whose place is taken by Manaf Uma. And goalkeeper Richard Atta is also not in the squad. Ben Mensa is keeping the post for the Phobians. Yeah, 4 3 3 from them, as you would expect. And Obidja just couldn't recover in time from that injury. He suffered against Liberty. Seems to have suffered an ankle injury, so he's not going to be in the side. But they've still got a re very, very talented squad to come up here. It's Victor Aid, who I, I expect to be playing closely alongside Daniel Fie, Banye, Abdul Manaf, who joined the midfielders. It's going to be probably a 4 a 4 4 2 as the game develops. Our referee for today is Male Iremi, assisted by Awulo Freeman and then Abdul Rauf Al Hassan. Referee Male Iremi is a student teacher from the University of Cape Coast and is from Wa. He gets us going for this afternoon's coronation game. Here is Robert Adusoa. Likes manager. Corner taken, Credus header. Goal line clearance from Adusoa. Good defending. Credu here. Yeah. That ball to the far side. It's, they normally do this a lot to Wafa. But I'm not sure why Ben Mensah is leaving his, his line and going that five. He's not going to catch that ball. The header from you know the big centre back Yadom is almost into the back of the net. But Adusoa, credit to him, stays in a very good place to clear the Lovely play here is Lawrence Ejekum. Good control from Justus Tosuche onto the part of Esu Bontin. Sends a cross, but it's straight to goalkeeper Ben Mensah. Moving it around that back line, Tosuche leading off to his attacking partner. But the cross coming back to him, there is Premier League. Justus Tosuche against the crossbar. But even the better pass from Emmanuel Foriage. Ajiman, that is a wonderful ball. And the take from the striker is brilliant. The first touch is wonderful. It's, it's probably a save from Ben Mensa. I think he got a fingertip onto it before the ball got onto the woodwork. It's a save from. Good play from Fatal now. Salifu Ibrahim! To the Ibrahim there. 
a lovely one too there with the captain Fatah Mohammed. It was to be honest, he sees on his shoulder, it's not actually badging into him. Lovely pass from Ajimano Fori. Here is Enoch is one team. That's the step over. Gets the ball in. Very close. Into the other in the flash. Unfortunately, we couldn't see it from the start of the build-up. But if you see from the start of the build-up, the, the ball was from the from the other side, from the goalkeeper, right through the midfield and in the flash. Now Esibontin goes on a counter. Lovely play from Enoch Esibontin. He's drifting into enemy territory. Sends a cross. Agbevo! Good save from Ben Mensa. <coughs> it's a goal mouth melee, but has support to finally get the ball out. From one end to the other, that's lovely skill from Enoch Esibontin again to skip past his defender. And take a look at him. He sees this man in the box. Take his time and put the ball into the box. It's, that ball is a really good one. Trying to find the corner, but Ben Mensah puts a very good save. And from there on, it's scrappy. I still managed to get the ball out of the place. But again, Gordon Agbevo thought he had done everything right to pick the corner. But let me see the save. Yeah, didn't go to the corners enough. Almost killing down the middle. Let it pop. Lovely ball from Ate Yosef looking for Lawrence AJ Kum. AJ Kum sends the cross in to Switch's header and it goes straight to Ben Mensa. The box again. Lawrence AJ Kum. Lovely one into the striker. Leaps really well. I think he just maybe, just maybe mistimed his jump a little bit and didn't really get. Now Salifu Ibrahim. Radio Vokas ball is meant for Daniel Barney. He's up against Inchimensa. Sabi fails to save. And Kunedu had a touch on that ball. Is a yeah. Sabi could have done better. Yeah, it's the ball. ball through this channel that really delights me from Ovuka into Bani. His movement from Bani is really good. But it's a teasing ball across the face of going. He's almost on the stretch. He didn't really get a hand onto it because it's a stretching from him. That the pace in the ball is slow. You think the goalkeeper can catch it, but it's a difficult one for him to reach. And because it's making and Saboche has set the ball onto the park of Oforia Ajiman. And here is Esu Bontin. He's got pace. He's got Tosuche right in the middle. Now here is Tosuche with a left footed drive. It's a goal kick. Yeah, lovely counter attacking football. Platform. And Saboche to begin with. And that's what gave, gave away the possession to Wafa to start the counter. Playing the ball through for Justice Tosuche again. He's trying to catch the goalkeeper on his near side. but. Catches the side nets and instead. Okay, the warning free. Iremi Male. We're still going to see Wafa trying to be very quick on the counter, trying to be very quick with their passing. They had to focus on trying to keep them at bay and make Akbevo. Lawrence Ejekum. Beautiful play from Lawrence Ejekum. Great skill. Sends a cross in. Straight to Ben Mensa. Lights between Salifu and Radio Vuka. Just uses that little space in between them and makes a space for himself. But the cross, not the best from him, straight to the goalkeeper who makes a very comfortable catch. Salifu Ibrahim goes for the grounder. Robert Ado! That was textbook, textbook from the corner kick for Asafu, right from the training ground there. The way they worked it out, Basabi was alert to pull up the save and Jintar Mohammed loses possession. Tosuche. Bote. Derek Mensah's drive straight to goalkeeper Ben Mensah. Yeah. The left back is also getting into the action. They're arriving late, but drilling that one, but right down the middle. About Wafa, every, almost every player in that side has got some. Manolo Faria, Jaman. Who goes in for this one? Ate Yusufu! And Wafa are up by one goal to nil. The party poopers are here in Wafa. That is picture perfect. Brilliantly executed by Ate Yusufu. But when you keep an eye on Benjamin Mensah, he seems to have just move to his right a bit before realizing that <laughs> Derek Mensah goes for glory.
one for nearly. Here is Asamani. It's over. There you go. The Phobians are champions of the Ghana Premier League. They have their Premier League title. They never say die until the bones are rotten. Hatsabok are 21 time champions of the Ghana Premier League. Congratulations to the Phobians. Yeah, congratulations to the Phobians. Finally, the wait is over. Finally, they have their hands on the title which they've deserved. Samuel Brady is the man with his army of Phobian players who never, never said die throughout the whole campaign. There were moments where many thought they were.